came to live in Bennington Village when I was five years old. I was the youngest of three brothers who were 10 and 15 years older than me. Previously we had lived with my mum in a small village in Cambridgeshire. This was after they had been bombed out during the war. Dad stayed in lodgings up London as he was a baker. In those early years I got an interest in wildlife. I got to know all about country living. I attended a local primary school, Park Farm, which was managed by Miss Beryl Morgan, a lady from Wales who spoke a strange language to us young ones. But we grew to respect her and were all grounded in the three R's. Uh, during the time they were taking my photograph, I was uh, four years old, just starting school, the uh, guy who was taking the photograph, he asked me what I wanted to do when I grew up. And I said I wanted to be a train driver. And he turned around and said to me, I'm sorry, Sonny, you'll never be a train driver because uh, I understand you're colour blind. And that mm. devastated me. Whilst growing up in the neighbourhood, we would go bird nesting, play in the street, football, cricket, always getting shouted at when the ball went in the residence garden. There were organised youth clubs we could attend. I went to the Boys' Brigade where I learnt semaphore. I attended a Baptist church in Wallington and a Reverend Gray would teach us the errors of drinking too much and the evil of gambling, which stuck with me through my adolescent years. My mum worked in a chocolate factory where now the car park for the Grange now is. She would bring the rejected shapes home for us to have a treat at weekends. I went to Elmwood School. The headmaster was a Mr Stacy. He would deal out the cane to any boy was sent to him for misbehaving. I remember bunking off school to go fishing with my friends and received six strokes on the hands for my trouble. I did not do that again. I left school when I was 16 and joined the GPO. I became Young Telegram Boy of the Year and was presented with £10 by the then Postmaster General, Mr Ernest Marples, uh, which was uh, two weeks wages in one. I got married when I was 21 and went on to have six children, three boys and three girls. 